Lydia and welcome to Connecting the Dots in Early Childhood Education. In today's video, I'm super excited to share with you the difference between proactive and reactive strategies when dealing with challenging behaviors in the classroom. Okay, let's get started talking about the difference between proactive and reactive approaches when we're handling challenging behaviors in the classroom or at home with little ones. So what is a proactive approach or a proactive strategy? That's when you ask yourself, what can I do to support students before the challenging behaviors begin? And this will depend on the child. You may need to provide them with extra attention, warnings about the schedule changes, things like that. However, really the proactive strategies that you take will depend on the data you've collected around the child's challenging behavior. If you would like access to more information and more videos about handling challenging behaviors and taking data around them, I really encourage you to become a Patreon community member. The link is at the bottom of this slide. On Patreon, you'll find exclusive content that I've created all around handling challenging and interfering behaviors in the classroom. So while a proactive approach would be what are we doing before the challenging behavior begins, a reactive approach is what can you do after the challenging behavior already starts? For example, remaining calm. And you'll wanna use behavior strategies that really address the function of this behavior. Again, if you wanna know more about functions of behavior, I really encourage you to become a Patreon community member where you will have access to exclusive content all around behavior intervention. Why does it matter? Why as an educator do I even know, need to know what the difference between reactive and proactive strategies are? Well, because when we have proactive and reactive strategies in place, we are better equipped to support children. It's not enough to just have proactive strategies and skills in our toolbox. And it's not enough to just have reactive things to reach out on and act on and use when a challenging behavior presents itself. We need to have both so that we're pretty much ready for anything. We're kind of like superheroes. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. To find out more, please visit our website and all of our social media accounts. The links and handles can be found at the slide at the end of the video. And don't forget to check out our Call a Coach service on our website. Call a Coach provides individualized, specific, unique supports. And I really hope you check it out. I'll see you next time. Bye.